Ahmed's. An inflatable life raft is a round or oval shaped raft, its source of buoyancy being inflatable tubes on its periphery, which are made of rubberized cotton or nylon fabric. The whole raft is neatly folded and packed by the manufacturers in a compact fiberglass container. A Senhouse slip in the securing strop permits quick manual release. A painter attached to the life raft leads out of the container and is connected permanently to the ship to a strong point. To launch the life raft, the container is thrown overboard and the painter pulled out. Giving a sharp tug to the painter opens the valve of the gas cylinder and inflates the life raft. Arches for supporting the canopy are also made up of inflatable tubes. They are connected directly to the upper buoyancy compartment by a non-return valve so that the canopy arches inflate and the canopy is erected automatically when the life raft inflates. The raft is fitted with at least two diametrically opposite entrances capable of being closed from inside and outside. At least one of the entrances is fitted with a ramp for boarding the raft while others might be fitted with ladders. Four adjustable water pockets help in reducing the drift and give stability to the life raft from capsizing. Means of collecting rainwater are also provided. For writing a capsized raft, two writing loops are provided under the life raft. The raft should be turned into the wind. The person should stand on the air cylinders catch the writing loops with both hands and lean as far as possible. The raft will catch the wind and start writing. A life raft which is secured to the ship's deck using a hydrostatic release unit will automatically cause the life raft to release from its lashing before it reaches a depth of 4 meters below sea level. This allows the life raft to float free on the sea surface, making it available for survivors. Much of the equipment carried in lifeboats and life rafts is the same, except for a few exceptions. The equipment consists of food rations in airtight packages, fresh water, a first aid kit including sea sickness tablets, fishing tackles, knife, tin opener, a graduated drinking vessel, a buoyant baler, buoyant rescue quoits with buoyant lines to rescue crews stranded in water, sea anchors with a hauser and tripping line for sea streaming, whistle, radar reflector, waterproof electric torch suitable for more signaling, a heliograph or daylight signaling mirror, distress signals consisting of four rocket parachutes, two buoyant smoke signals and six hand flares, a copy of life-saving signals and survival manual giving instructions for survival at sea. Life rafts carry hand pumps and plugs for repairs. <laughs>